Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Botai Media, and today we've got a brand new reaction to a new track from Snails and Chime, Arcane Ooze. This was indeed the one that was voted on by the Bowtie Gang this week, which actually ended up being a tie, so two videos will come out this week. So if you want to break the tie or be a part of uh, what videos get made in the future, you can join the channel membership today for just two Canadian bucks a month, pretty cheap, and help support the channel. But otherwise, let's hop into it. Uh, Snails, Chime, my understanding is the two of them have not worked together in the past. I don't think so. I tried to do a little bit of stuff for, and I was like, I don't think I've seen the two of them work together, but um, yeah, this will be an interesting one for sure. There's a ton of hype leading to this as well. I'm a huge Chime fan. I'm kind of, honestly, when it comes to snails, some stuff, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is my favorite. And sometimes I'm like, that's a little out there. Uh, and so uh, we'll see if we're going to get some vomit color base, whatever, vomit step base, whatever you want to call this. But uh, let's hop into it. Here is Arcane Ooze. Okay, really no intro, we're kind of just into stuff right away for the most part. This is very unique. Powers wisely. Oh, micro drop. This is so, like, weird, uh, but like in a good way, I think. Like, it's just pretty fun. Oh, yeah. That looks like a keytar. Okay, where are we going for this final movement? Let's get slimy. Damn, okay, uh, Arcane Ooze from Snails and Chime. Uh, first things first, this is a brilliant collaboration in sound design and uh, a beautiful melding of two very unique styles. Um, Chime, very distinct style. Snails, very distinct style. And the two of them kind of meld together for a pretty great track. Uh, not going to lie, this is this is quite good. Um, I was a little worried early on that Snails was going to go too hard in the vomit step kind of area. And we were just gonna get these bleh, bleh, like this big like big kind of uh, growls of sorts, um, but we did not get that, uh, and and that's and I'm actually really happy about that honestly uh, because this is this is pretty top tier. Uh, I, I think they both did a good job of not going too far in their own directions. Like if this is chime and this is snails, they didn't really uh, they didn't really do like this where it's like it's like oh it's just this is more snails or this is more chime. They kind of really did come together uh, in a sense. And I think that's great. I think that's a sign of uh, a really well put together collaboration and one that sounds the way you kind of you want it to in the end product. Um, yeah, I think it's great. I love that there's three distinct like three very distinct different movements and three styles and the sound design and tone of each of those three is significantly different. Um, yeah, I, I really, I, I, I love Chime's kind of micro drops. I think you want to call them that the kind of very intricate, small sound design, uh, very like ASMR inspired that Chime has talked about early on, um, in his, uh, last, uh, record. But I, it's, it's just it, hearing that with, 
like snails also on a track title is so fascinating because you would just never think about that. And uh, it worked. Obviously that middle one was a little bit more, I would say on the uh, chime side of things. I would actually say more so than not. Um, the first drop I think was a little bit more snails esque and the second was more chime and the third was more kind of collaboration of both, which is a style that I often really enjoy. I like when collaborations, especially in triple clubs when they kind of do like their own distinct drops, um, obviously um, with some <laughs> give and take from the other artists, but I, it's a style that, or a structure that I really enjoy. And so, um, yeah, I, it, it's just, it was a bizarre to hear that with the kind of snails. Uh, I would say it was more snails percussion than anything than chimes because chimes is a lot more uh, softer and wetter. And uh, you hear a lot of the like really heavy snare kicks um, that is most associated with a snails kind of track. So um, yeah, I, this is a fun one. I really enjoy it. Uh, there's a lot going on though, almost to its detriment though, I would say where there is like, there's, there's a lot hitting you from a lot of different angles and um, I don't know if the song really had a, a proper lead-in if anything it kind of just went um, and I don't know if uh, I enjoyed it as much uh, off the intro I just felt like it kind of just happen. The song was just kind of, you almost feel like you're, you're hopping into the middle of the track rather than like this. Not that I want like a, a fade in or something like that, but it just felt a little, um, yeah, it just felt like you were jumping into the middle of a song. You're like, Oh, this is, this is it. Uh, so it is, it will be good for in DJ sets in that sense and for mixing. But, um, yeah, I really enjoyed the track. I think it's great. Um, I, I, I'm actually surprised this collaboration ended up being, uh, as, as enjoyable as I anticipated it to be, uh, in the end. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of this and I'm very curious to hear what you guys have to say. So let me know in that comment section below what you think of this brand new track, Arcane Ooze, Snails, Chime. I'd love to hear any and all thoughts in the comment section below. But other than that, I'm Dakota from Botan Media and I'll see you guys in another video.